to a quarter inch. Make sure that it's not too thick or it's gonna get stuck in the cookie cutter. Ideally, we use the rolling gauges. But okay. And if we don't have rolling gauges, we could use chopsticks. So I'll get some of those and show. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one upside down here so everybody can see, and I'm going to flower that really well. I already flowered my surface very well. And now I'm gonna press down, but not all the way. And I press on one side and I lift a little, and then I lift a little more, press down, lift, press down the bottom, lift, do that a couple times. Make sure you get the imprints to show up by pressing down on them gently. And then you lift it up gently. Here we're doing a little gnome girl cookie cutter to fill in our space in our dough. And again, press down. This one is really detailed down at the bottom. So we have to be particularly careful as we press down at the bottom of this cutter. Oh. And I can see there's a little spot that's stuck there, so I have to gently rock it. So maybe even if I put my finger in there and get a little push down, and she's popping out. Okay, so I'm going to pick the cookies up and put it on a baking sheet with some parchment paper. And then I'm going to put it in the fridge for about 15, 20 minutes just to chill it a little bit so that it will stop the spreading of the dough as it bakes in the oven. And we will chill those now. I'm going to make the knit pattern for our hat and mitten cookie cutters and you do have to do this somewhat like you do with the uh, detailed cookie cutters and lift a little but not too much or else you're going to move your cutter and you will lose your pattern. And just for to be certain I'll do one more time pull up and we have a knit pattern. I'm going to cut out the hat out of the knit pattern. This one's an easier cut than the detailed cookie cutters. You can actually do it pretty much the traditional way. Cut it out. We've got a mitt. chill for a little bit 10 or 15 to 20 minutes so that the knit pattern will stay once baked I'm going to do the nutcracker as another example of a very detailed cookie cutter that has to be cut out using the rocking technique And 
sure that we get the details at the bottom because that's where most of them are. And I can see it's a little stuck right now. So we're gonna keep doing that until we get it loose. 